Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me 320 Sim Pilot. and today just a short video to show you a new feature added to the fly-by-wire mod the printer function very excited about this everyone was it's something we haven't really seen in a simulator before not that I'm aware of anyway uh, so it's it's quite a, a fresh idea and I really looked forward to giving it a go it has now been added to the uh, development version and the experimental version but not the stable build at the moment uh, so if you're watching this and you don't have it it could be that you're using the stable build but it is now in the experimental fly-by-wire version as well as the development version it's something that we use a lot in the real aircraft so it's nice to see it represented and we'll talk about what it does and how we use it in the aircraft as ever i am a real world airbus pilot but none of this is for any real world use, it's just to give you some extra context on your home simulations. We're out here at the runway waiting for our departure from Nice, but before we go let's have a look at that printer. So here we are on the flight deck and let's get straight to it, let's talk about the printer. The printer is this little box here on the bottom right of the centre pedestal and we use it to print out a few things really. Often that will be weather, that's the most common use, so we can print out the ATIS if they have a digital ATIS where we're going. Otherwise we can print out weather reports, so the METAR, uh, which is not as up to date and accurate as an ATIS, but it is the current weather there. So it's accurate in terms of weather, but it won't include things like runway in use uh, and uh, other restrictions like that. We also use it to talk to the company, so the company may send us messages that will print out through here. Um, but they can also be read in the MCDU and that's the important point. Most things that print out of here will also show up in the MCDU and we can read them but uh, a lot of them will automatically print out. We also use it to get clearances from air traffic control. So pre-departure clearances when you're on stand and you want to get your squawk and your departure that you're cleared for that will print out through here uh, and we'll acknowledge it in the MCDU and then that will print out a little acknowledgement receipt as well. So it's it's used for those things primarily. It can also be used uh, for a few other things depending on how, what your airline chooses to do with it. But yeah, very handy. Uh, and now it's been added into the mod and it works pretty much as uh, you'd expect it to, which is really, really quite great. So let's just uh, show you the first, first example of it and then we'll uh, talk about some other differences. So to use it, say you've set up your MCDU as normal, if you go to MCDU menu, ATSU, as we've done uh, in a previous video, which I'll provide a link to, uh, we go into AOC menu and we need to have something to print. So we don't actually have any received messages, so there's nothing for it to print right now. Um, so let's go to weather request. We are flying from Nice to Amsterdam today is the plan. Uh, and so I'm going to request the meter for both of those. So I'm going to press send, off it goes. And shortly we'll get company message up here. Now in the real aircraft, when I see company message up here, that means it's printing out already. It does automatically print, typically, typically. But that obviously will be an option that uh, I'm sure varies depending on how your airline is set up. But anyway, there we go, company message appears. Uh, and once it's printed out, that message would disappear. But there we go, so received messages, meter. And there we go, so now we can press print and it actually works, which is amazing. So look down here, there it comes. I mean, this is, uh, I've never seen this done in a simulator, but it's uh, brilliant. So then you, I'll wait for it to finish. <laughs> Amazing, a full animation, I can't believe it. I mean, I, everyone's been very excited about this edition. Uh, I've been talking about it a lot and it, it's been coming up <laughs> in my streams. Um, so it's great to see it. Now we can click on it to collect that piece of paper. And what you're doing there is you're ripping it off the, the roll. There's a roll of paper underneath and you rip it off. Now that ripping takes a lot of practice. It took me uh, a good few months before I was proficient at being able to just rip the ACARS paper off in one go. Otherwise you end up shredding it and, and tearing it and getting it all out of line. So yeah, to get a neat, clean cut like that is basically impossible. But you can, you can get close if you have enough practice. And now we can see our meter for Nice LFMN. If I go to this view, it might be a bit clearer. There we go. LFMN, uh, it's got the weather printed out as a meter, there we go, and also for Amsterdam, uh, which is great. Um, as we can see, that information is also on the screen, but it's quite clear printed out down there. Now, it is quite small text, and if you're sit sat here in your simulator, it's going to be basically impossible to read that, but you can jump to Control 5 and see it instead of having to refer back to your MCDU menu which could be handy when you're setting up the approach, things like that. So we do this a lot in real life, have this printed out here, ready to go. Um, and we'd definitely have the ATIS showing, uh, something like that here. 
A little thing to note is that we would typically leave the piece of paper here in front of the thrust levers. That's quite common. Uh, a lot of a lot of flight crew do that. But something we would typically do is make sure we fold or crinkle the piece of paper in some way. So maybe put I put a couple of folds in it or creases. The reason is we don't want it to fall into any of these gaps. You can see these panels are not perfectly joined up and there's nothing to stop this paper sliding down there. So we'll um, typically crease it to make sure that it, it stays on top and you don't lose it. Uh, otherwise it goes vanishing behind the control panels, which is not, not going to be a, a, a great situation. So yeah, so that's something we'd do. But there you go. A great representation of something that we, we do use uh, all the time. Let's experiment a little bit. Um, so of course we could also get an ATIS. Now I'm not connected to uh, VATSIM at the moment, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to receive an ATIS, but I'll try anyway. We'll send off for that message. Remember to get this set up. I have a video on the MCDU uh, set up to help you if you're, if you're struggling with getting the, some of these features working. So I'm not sure if that's going to work. Looks like it has. Here we go. ATIS. Oh no, D, D ATIS. Digi ATIS not available. Yeah, we're not connected. Um, so let's grab uh, another weather let's go to a weather request and let's grab Stansted as well and I can clear out those two don't need those I oh, know they're gonna do that anyway okay fine we'll send that just to show you you will get another piece of paper and how do we handle that so here we go we now grab our METAR this now includes, if I scroll down, Stansted. Again, I've said before, this scrolling is not, I've never seen this done like this. The reason it says one out of three, that should mean that when I scroll across, it will show me the other pages. So instead of scrolling down on these messages, now this may be a fit somewhere in the, you know, in the world. I'm not sure. I've never seen it done like this because uh, the message disappears beneath, whereas it shows you up here one out of three. So I would expect that to mean that I can press this side arrow and then it will show me the rest of the that same message uh, just a minor detail there but uh, still amazing features to have right so let's print this new one as well go back into our seats watch that print out with that fantastic animation whilst it's printing let's talk about the actual box down here so this of course is where the paper comes out but what are these bits down here well this button is a slew button s-l-e-w uh, and what we do is you can press this button. It doesn't actually work in this mod at the moment, but you can press that, then it will run the paper through. So you use that when you've fitted a new paper roll into the printer, which is a very fiddly job. Again, something that takes many months of practice. <laughs> but once you've fitted the roll, you press that and it will wind the new paper roll out until it comes out the top and then uh, you know it's set up and ready to go. We also use that when we just want to print off some paper to write down. For example, if there is no digital ATIS available, and remember not all airports have a digital ATIS, you may have to listen to the radio and write it down. Well, in that case, instead of writing it down on your personal flight plan or piece of paper, you can print out some of this, write it down, and then put it in the middle so both pilots can see it. So it's quite handy like that. So that's when you'd use the slew button, either fitting new paper or writing out. But anyway, not modeled at the moment. Next is this little dial. This is simply the locking mechanism. So you just unscrew that and then you use this black handle here to lift up the printer and that's how you access the paper roll underneath it and replace it. Uh, so that's all That's all that this is really. It's very simple, very reliable um, and a uh, really handy thing to have. The paper rolls are actually stored on the flight deck as well. They're typically up here in this little cubby hole, which isn't model either. Uh, but yeah, there's there's special mounts just for it. Again, Airbus have thought of most things when they designed it. It's uh, really impressive. Let's collect that piece of paper then. And it goes onto our pile. And as you can see now, I get a little arrow, previous page. So I can swap back or press right to go back to the one in front and it fades into whichever you have. Finally, then if we had a, uh, well, we can do the same with any received message, by the way. So if you get a free text message, from uh, somebody else then you can uh, print it out and that sort of thing finally then let us grab uh, one last page let's put in oh i don't know let's put in paris charles de gaulle as we're going up that way uh, and we'll put in uh, frankfurt why not so let's have our third message and then that can be added to this pile which i'll show you and then you can scroll through so at the moment we have two so we can go left or right and now we have our last one, which we'll print out. It's quite surreal seeing it print out in the simulator. <laughs> I still can't believe it's been added. 
there we go collect that and now we can go previous page next page and scroll through them as required so yeah very neat system and pretty representative that's what we do really amazing to see the team add features like this into the uh, simulator one last thing that this printer does is it will print out some mechanical reports uh, errors maybe problems with the engines it's detected during startup that maybe weren't big enough for the airplane to give us a warning but something engineering might want to know about Often that data will get sent to engineering automatically, but it may print out here, in which case we may call engineers to, to see what they think of it. Um, certainly they can usually download or see the same information. It's important to note as well, the printer information is not the accurate information. This is the actual information. This has uh, got to be checked against that to make sure it is, it is correct, it is matching. So if you have a really hard landing, something like that, then this may print out automatically to show you a load report, things like that, to warn you that, uh, yeah, maybe some of the some of the uh, numbers were close to the, the limits for an inspection, things like that it can be used for. So, yeah, ideally you don't want that printing out after you land, although sometimes it may print out uh, given some other parameter that it's met, which you weren't even aware of or that may not affect the landing. There's all sorts of reasons it can print out. But, yeah, so that's, that's what it does. I hope that's been... Uh, useful for you slightly interesting uh, it's uh, part of my series of uh, videos where I talk about things that aren't perhaps too uh, too widely used in the simulator for any other reason but hopefully a bit of extra context as I said on the Airbus so away we go on our flight thank you very much for watching I hope it's been uh, slightly useful for you there'll be plenty more videos to come as we follow the amazing work of the fly-by-wire mod as it updates also lots of streams and tutorials coming on the channel as well so do please subscribe if you'd like to see more of those that's all then thank you for watching see you again soon bye bye